Hey guys, Richard here with CRG Games, and I want to make a video about a topic that um, I like to talk about, and people like to ask as well. How much can you expect to make selling cards online? Cards and sealed product. So there are three platforms I'm going to cover, TCG Player, whatnot, and my website, because those are my main three sources of experience. And hopefully, uh, I'll be able to give you enough information to where you've got a good sense of what it takes to make these kind of numbers. And they're not anything crazy, um, but they're indicative of, I would say, like, you know, probably uh, a seller that's got a lot of cards, um, wants to get rid of them, has some good stuff in there too, got a lot of bulk, and uh, maybe got some boxes and stuff they can break down. That's kind of where I'm at. So let's get into it. We'll start off with TCG Player. Uh, now this starts from the very beginning till today. You know, 20, uh, November 2021 is when I started. And I started just like everybody else, a level one seller, had to rank up to level four. And during that time, I sold uh, roughly $4,300 worth of cards. I had... Uh, wow, $762 in fees, and I had a payout percentage on average of 81.9%. So basically, you would keep, on average, about 82% of what you sold as a regular seller. That's not direct, not TCG Player, uh, the Pro Store, just you, your cards, and an envelope. It's not too bad. You get to benefit from most all of the TCG player features, which is great. It's four card games. But you don't get some of the nicer things unless you become a level four seller or a pro seller, all that good stuff. Now here, you'll see the sales jump up significantly. In this range, I had an inventory of probably three to 5,000 cards. After that, I had an inventory upwards of twenty two to 23,000 cards. Now... That was split between a lot of uh, nice, like between five and fifty dollar cards, and a ton of bulk. I started buying bulk, sorting it, listing it, and I've got videos about that. Sales increase significantly, but when you're selling direct, so do fees, right? You've got the benefit of being able to sell a lot of cards really fast, high volume, but you're going to make significantly less money. That's the trade-off. So. When you're selling on TCG Player, it's very important that you're buying your cards and product at the right price. Either you've got a source that can get you direct from distribution, or you're buying collections and uh, sorting through them to sell everything, or you're taking your own collection and you're piecing it out card by card. It's going to get the most money. It's going to take you a ton of time, but if you got direct, Typically, you can do it pretty fast. Once you get level four, right, you can start using mass pricing and things like that. It becomes a lot easier to move through a lot of inventory at the ECG player. So it's really a volume game where you've got high volume, low margin. I went from going to 81.9% uh, selling regularly to 676 selling direct. It's a trade-off, but... It helped me get through, you know, $32,900 in cards over a year and a half or so. Seems pretty good, right? Well, then I started on Whatnot in August of 2022. Got uh, fired from my last job. Housing market took a tank and I got the can. However, I started hearing about Whatnot, looked into it a little bit. And I thought, you know what, this is kind of cool. I think I'll try it out. You start streaming. You know, you get a camera and a microphone and all that stuff, and uh, you just start there. You make your setup. Now, Whatnot's payout percentage, way better. 87.3% on average. You get to keep more of your money. For that, you know, what is that, 12.7% or so that I paid in fees, you get a lot of cool features. Now, when I started, it was still a, lot of, a little rocky. They didn't have... Uh, analytics and things like that. Um, I kept track of everything I did on a spreadsheet, but now they've got analytics, so that makes it a little bit easier. So in the first month, 
I did ninety five hundred dollars, paid twelve hundred in fees basically, got a payout of eighty seven point four percent. I was pretty ecstatic when I got through that first month. And I started in the middle of the month. You know, I just started selling packs. I didn't sell any cards, just packs. Um, because I had built up a inventory of probably 30, 40, 50 boxes of cards. I just kept buying them. Um, because I don't know, I like sealed product, I guess. And, uh, at the time I thought these are definitely going to go up in value. And, uh, you know, we know how that goes, but so $9,400 and I was like, damn, this is, this is good. I'm keeping more of my money. I'm selling a good bit. This is great. So September sold 16,300, October I did almost 10,000, and then I got burned out. I was streaming like between 3 and 5 days a week, 8 to 12 hours a day, spending a lot of time buying product, sourcing product, packaging, you know, um uh, sale uh uh orders up, you know, and, and daily drives to the post office. It wasn't bad, but it felt like a job every day. Got a stream, got a set up. However, you get to build a community, right? If you build a community and you're, you know, genuinely or generally uh, okay to talk to, um, you have a decent enough setup to where people can see what you have and they can hear you okay. And uh, you're invested in what you're doing and you're engaging with, with, you know, potential customers, you can do well. See, I only had 10 average buyers per day. Not a lot by any means compared to some of the big streamers. But I feel that I took care of people. Gave a lot of free packs away. Uh, some of you watching this probably got some of those free packs. And um, I had a lot of fun. It was great. And I still talk to a lot of people from whatnot today. I never had a whole lot of viewers at once. 20 was the max. I remember when I hit that, I was like, holy cow. You know, I'm, you know this is big. And then I would go into the next stream over and they'd have 100 or 200 people, you know, because they, you know, this is the thing. What not is your mileage may vary, right? It is completely dependent on you. It is up to you to build everything, you know, the stream, the community, the, you know, the, um, the goodwill, things like that. You can do it the hard way. Or the I don't know I I like to call it the honest way. Or you can do gimmicks, right? You can do uh, pull like I don't know pull boxes. I don't like pull boxes. It, it's, it's gambling. It's all gambling, really. Opening a pack is gambling. But when you gamble uh, on whatnot, it just I don't like it. I don't do it. But they get a lot of views. A lot of people like to watch the gambling. You know, a lot of people like to buy overpriced packs. I didn't do that. I set my store up like a, uh, my shop up like a store. If you wanted to buy a pack, awesome. If not, hey, hang out and chit chat. We'll talk. But you know what? In three months and, you know, one day, this was one day, I did $35,800. That's more than a year and a half on TCG Player, right? Because I kept more of my payout, I profited more. And that allowed me to expand my inventory. I took every single penny of this net sales and I bought more product. Um, I, I take that back. I upgraded equipment as well. I, I built a new computer. I got a better microphone. I got some cameras, some lighting, things like that. Uh, I reinvested every penny, I'll say. I reinvested everything. Um, whatnot's pretty good. But then I started my own website, right? I did this in October of 2022 while I was streaming on whatnot um, because I wanted to automate the system a little bit. And what I didn't know is it is 10 times more difficult to get sales with your own website than it is on a, on a dedicated platform. A lot of that has to do with advertising, you know, SEO, uh, and just how nice and easy to use you can make your website. I'm not a website developer. I'm not a coder. A lot of this for me, trial and error. Took a long time. Uh, I still monkey with it almost every single day to get things just the way I want them. Um, adding your products, everything's done manually. I, I took my camera and I just started taking photos and I had to do all my own editing. This is the thing. You get a 97.2% payout 
you get to keep almost all your money. But you have to do everything yourself. If you're not ready to do everything yourself, including advertising, don't do your own website. It's, I think it's difficult. Some people might think it's super, super easy. I think it's difficult in a niche market like this. Yeah, there's the whole drop shipping crap and whatnot. You know, you could do that and you test it out until you find the product that works. You know, we've all heard the spiel. But if you want to do your own website for the game you love, it's difficult. Now, you'll see these numbers here. These are typical monthly sales with no advertising at all. Um, just word uh, on YouTube. I put the link in my YouTube videos to my website. That's that's how these sales come about. These ones, I posted on Reddit where there's a, a community of people that play the game. They buy the product and they visited my website. They judged the prices. They felt they were good and they bought product, right? November, this was just after I got it. I was like, hey guys, I got you know, good prices. You take a look. It was a little bit of a cluster, but um, we got through it. And then this one, um, even better prices. I got even better prices now than I did then. And people liked it more, right? And I, I built up, it's every month building new customers, treating them right, getting their products to them fast, on time, and uh, intact. And you get repeat customers. So you have to build a base. You literally start at zero. But it's rewarding. I enjoy it. I enjoy the freedom to do whatever I want on my website. All these discounts. Yeah, discount codes. Anybody that that goes, you uh, sees one of my Reddit posts, right? And they visit um, with the link through Reddit. They get a discount. It's Reddit 5, right? And, and you, feel free to use that. I don't mind. Reddit 5. Returns. These aren't actually returns. I've not actually had any returns. These are canceled orders. So if somebody orders something and cancels it, it just goes back into inventory um, and it shows up as a return, but it's not technically a return. So I've got net sales, shipping. Most of the time I do free shipping, total sales, fees, 242 bucks. It's, it's dirt cheap and the payout. Now what this doesn't show is how much I paid in shipping, right? There is no free shipping. That, that's, it's a lie. Zero, all these zeros, that's shipping that I paid. In May alone, I've paid roughly $300 in shipping costs for free shipping. Now, since I'm keeping 97.3% of my payout, and I know exactly what my margins are. I can input all my costs. I can better fine tune my prices to make sure that after all my fees, after all my costs, I'm still making a little bit of money. And that's what it is. You get to decide everything. And for that, you're going to get paid the most. So to recap, let's go back here. TCG player. It takes. The least amount of work, I think, all the tools are right there for you. And for that, you're going to pay. You're either going to pay 18%, 19%, or you're going to pay 30%. You decide how far you want to take it. But you can do high volume. That's the good thing. On whatnot, you have to build your audience, build your brand per se, you have to be dedicated. You got to do it consistently. And you got to have good prices and you got to feel out what people want. It, it changes all the time. For that, you're going to keep even more of your money. And you might have a lot of fun doing it. Streaming was kind of neat. But after three months, I was like, no, thank you. I, I can't do this anymore. It just burned me out. Did a lot, but it burned me out. It's not worth it to me. Building my own website, this gave me the most satisfaction. It gives me the most flexibility to do whatever I want. It's way more difficult. Advertising is the biggest thing. Building the website, 
getting all of your information correct because you got to list everything yourself. It just it takes the most amount of work, but it's going to pay you the most. If you're not willing to put in the work or you're not ready to put in the work, don't do it. Because you ain't going to get $32,919 in sales starting out. You ain't going to get $35,830. Probably going to look more like this. What's that? That's $1,000 from December till April, right? With no advertising. You got to think about it. So I hope I gave you guys enough information, uh, enough uh, uh, anecdotes to find, you know, figure out what you want to do and maybe decide, am I going to make enough money that it's worth it for me? And if I do want to do it, what platform do I choose? And how much work am I willing to put into it? I hope I gave you enough information, you know, to make those decisions. If I didn't, tell me in the comments. Let me know what other information you need. I'll try to get it for you. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do that, of course, by subscribing and liking the video or commenting, however you want to do it. The best way is to mosey on over to crgamesllc.com and pick up a pack or two.